really short. Welcome back to Metroid Fusion! Alright, we've cleared everything in Sector 1, at least we took care of the problem there. Let's see what the next problem is. AI? Where do I go? Atmosphere Excabler is online, but now they're making it to other sections. They're, they're already... <laughs> they saw us coming. So we got the Tropical Habitat, Sector 2. Well, they just want a beach vacation. It's fine. I think that's more like, you know, for forests and, and vegetation and stuff like that. Probably creates the oxygen for this for this place. Oh, we gotta get down there now, then, if that's the case. <laughs> we need to invade Biodome. With Ridley as Polly Shore. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> no. D d no. Just, just no. Keep, keep Polly Shore out of my Metroid, okay? Here's the any objections, lady. All right, we've got something meme worthy. At one point, she mentioned, you know, uh, to anybody else, it would seem sarcastic, but he made it seem dignified. It means that no one else can say that except for him. And I think Other M kind of took this, uh, you know, father-daughter, master-pupil, uh, commander-soldier relationship. Well, they turned it into an abuser victim. They, 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 they really dumbed it down, and it just turned into something that's just not good. It's just not good. <laughs> Where am I going, AI? They, they, they could have really fleshed it out. It could have really made me feel that they actually cared about each other like that. You know, maybe it was something deeper than just just that. Like like how uh, how Naked Snake felt about the boss in Metal Gear Solid 3. So yeah, we have an X mimicking us. It's the SAX. I guess the, the Vulgan of the of the game. I would kind of love it if the AI went. I named it myself. What do you think? <laughs> Needs work. So do you. Oh. Well, fine. If you're going to be like that, just deactivates. We've got bite-sized areas. I noticed. So yeah. There's a lot of secret places in this one. We're gonna be uh, checking out the underneath a lot. Just in gonna this start one. digging through. Oh, well, you'll see. The entire place. Mm-hmm. Shoot, we can't go in the cold places. Yeah, we can be frozen by an ice beam, and we can be easily killed with an ice beam, and the SEX has an ice beam, so we should avoid the thing with the ice beam. There is also rooms in here that are incredibly cold. Mm-hmm. We go in there, we'll start taking damage. So we gotta go to the data room. It's sealed by the level one hatch, though. We gotta go to the security room and release the locks. The thing is, though, they don't show them on the map for security reasons, which makes sense, I mean. So we gotta go somewhere on this map, find the level one security room, unseal the hatch, get the data to get the bomb for the morph bomb. Uh, get the bomb for the morph ball, I mean. There we go. And then we can unfuck things a little bit more. <laughs> this That's is just fair. one big adventure to unfuck this entire place. Yeah, but... We're go it's gonna get refucked every second. Well, I mean, now this is cool. See these red things? Yeah, kind of sl slinking around. Uh, uh huh. Eventually, they'll turn into cocoons, and eventually they'll hatch as we get further in the game. Oh, evolving enemies. Yes, evolving enemies. That's another great thing about this game. I mean, it's in terms of like in terms of the game, it's being replaced with harder enemies that need different uh, you know weapons to destroy. But in the terms of the story, they're getting stronger, they're getting wiser, they're getting onto your secrets and your and your strategies. I don't know. I don't think the worms are gonna have a strategy meeting on how to take out the Samus Aran. Well, probably not. But when they get infected by an X parasite or two or three more, then they'll probably turn into something better. I mean, the X, yeah, it, it has all the all the moves and plans, but it took over a worm for God's sake. The X do nasty shit in here. We'll we'll get to that. It, you know, they're, they're nasty. Like uh, we just unlocked security level one, right? Yeah. That was a bad idea. Oh, they're getting out now. Because now not only can we get into level one sector doors... So can SAX. So can they! Yeah! And so they're gonna take that to fuck up anything... <laughs> Computer! It's almost like we were set up by our AI. Wait a minute. So kind of like uh, this aspect of getting your powers back, this one makes the most sense. I mean, all your powers were removed surgically because you were dying. 
and uh, we can only give them to you as fast as we can make them and to get them ready for you because you decided to you decided to just run off and take this on your own without any you know, you know going through rehab or any you know physical therapy or nothing. You just just get me on that ship. I'm gonna take him out. You missed a level one door. What are you doing? It's a missile we couldn't get. No. Oh. We gotta, we gotta do what we're supposed to do first, and then we can explore. Yeah, behave like a good little Samus, and then, yeah, then we'll figure it out. By the way, good job on bombs. Got bomb data. <laughs> yep, that's a bomb, all right. Boom, boom, boom. Didn't, uh, bomb jumping get harder in this game? Uh, a little bit, but we won't need to. Yeah, I also noticed the big explosion. Something's hunting you, I think. Yeah. Cool. Another, another thing about this sector, there's a, there's a lot of green rooms, like, much like this one. There's a missile tank, by the way. But this sector's gonna get fucked up, too. As you can see there with that door we can't get through now. Because something fucked it up. SAX is gonna destroy all the vegetation. Would you believe it's not the SAX that did this? No, it's probably just the X then. It was, it was the X that infected something. Bomberman. We'll, we'll meet that something soon. Right now, we gotta get to that something first. And to do that, we gotta basically go the long way around. <laughs> Secretly, Wario. You share my engine? <laughs> no! There, there it is. Hurry up, will ya? Eh. There's a pole, I think, somewhere around here. There we go. They're, they're also showing off with all the backgrounds and atmosphere. Good stuff. Like, it actually looks like a dilapidated lab. I think this is the first Metroid that had such dynamic uh, environments like this. Super Metroid had pretty good ones, but this is, like, really out there. It still blows me away that this came out before Zero Mission. Mm-hmm. Because why wouldn't you bring out a remake to get hyped up for four? Well, they brought, they brought up the four to see if people still cared, and they brought up the remake to start retelling the Metroid series. Or maybe the funds from 4 got us the remake? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. You know, people, you know, this, this went so well, and Nintendo's like, you should make another one. You got the time, you got the money, you can do it. We don't know what to do with the Game Boy Advance, just make something, please. I'm thinking, we I'm thinking also, uh, maybe they made Zero Mission to coincide with, uh, Echoes, Prime 2. That makes sense. I don't think there's, I mean, there's no, uh, connectivity between the two. Oh, there isn't? Nah. Oh, well then, uh, missed opportunity. You know, with, you, know what true, you know what Prime 2 does have? <sighs> Multiplayer! Oh my god, it does? It's bad. Uh, oh. So, I mean, it's, it's inconsequential multiplayer. I mean, how good could f first person Metroid be in multiplayer? Good for a round or two and then... <laughs> can, we, can, we play, can we play something else now? So far, it's just a whole bunch of tropical stuff down here, and the X are down here fucking things up, but, uh... But what if this is how they get their rocks off? I mean, this is their vacation area. This could end all life in the universe. You wondering about their vacation? Uh, well, I mean, they're in the tropical area. Like, look, that X has sunglasses. And now you have sunglasses. <laughs> I remember he had sunglasses. I absorbed the X's Hawaiian shirt. And his sense of style. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I absorbed the X that was a shooby. See, I like to think that uh, when the X infect her, thinking that she is a, a viable host, her Metroid vaccine that, that she got tells her uh, her white blood cells to fuck up whatever X comes in. So, while the X is still alive and conscious <laughs> and tied to Samus's nervous system, it is getting eaten torn apart, digested, absolutely stripped down to its basic elements to be absorbed into Samus's body. Well, so, uh, that's, that's a good thought to think every time I get one of these things. I'm just thinking it's like a group of people surrounding the X and just like punching him. It's like, hey, you coming into our body infecting <laughs> some stuff? We'll teach you! <laughs> they call you an X-Parasite? Yeah, when we're through with you, you will be an X-Parasite! <laughs> You come to the wrong body, fool. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, that's, that's, not, that's not how biology works. Metroid, Metroid. Lair. 
It's, oh! This is a big old thing. I forget what they're called because they got weird names for these stuff. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's disgusting. I think I remember how to fight this thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you gotta shoot missiles up into its face hole. Its face hole. It, maybe it's a face. Maybe it's, uh. Just shoot missiles up there. Just a gaping maw. Ugh. Don't, also, don't let it grab onto you. That's that's bad. Yeah, bad things happen when that happens. Don't let don't let that happen. Yeah, get, get, get. Ah, oh. Well, well. Okay, now we're gonna find out what but, happens. But you got bombs now, which I think does a little bit of damage too. Oh, that is nice. Yes. This game is difficult, but there are some parts where they're kind of forgiving. Like, yeah, th this one you have to be underneath and only have such a limited window to attack him. The way it gets you, it's bad, but you got bombs that can damage him, and you know. Well, hell, just... you could just roll out of there with North Ball, get an extra missile in there. I think you're stuck. What? Wait, what do you mean? When you, when I, you, I mean, like, when uh... When you get grabbed, you're stuck, I mean. No, I mean, as you're shooting up, before it gets down to you, you might be able to get one extra missile in there, duck into Morph Ball, and get out of there. Yeah, maybe. It'd be kind of risky, though. Jump Ball and High Jump in one! Yep! Nice! I mean, these are basically just our abilities from Super Metroid. Well, other M, I guess. No, 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 Super Metroid. Let's go with that cannon hat, why don't we? Sam has still had all of her things from uh, from Super Metroid and Other M, so it's just the same same things. Let's just make it so that Mother doesn't come back. No more Mother talk. Mm. Now it's just Metroid 4 talk. You're right. You're right. Just Metroid 4 talk. You're in the fusion area. Yep. We're 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 in we're in the good part of the Metroid series now. SAX. Our first SAX encounter. How are you gonna do? I love how Can you're you trying hear my to- missiles? I can't- Hey! 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 Get you back hear, here! You hear this? Hey! Don't you fucking run away from me! Get back here! That's hey! my suit! Ah! So it was X SAX destroying everything. Now they're getting into their cocoons. Uh, you see- you see that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you go. There we go. Another missile upgrade. We're getting a bunch of these. Uh, yeah, is it five per tank? It is indeed. Holy crap. The way items work is that we're getting a lot of missiles first, and then we're gonna get a lot of power bombs, because there are a lot of power bombs in this game. I think the final count is you get 74 power bombs to, to work with. Why? Because, uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of secrets, and the power bombs actually do stuff, and you might actually, you know, wanna, uh, you know, yeah. I, I mean, okay, but good lord. I gotta do this right jump there. there Couldn't you diagonal bomb jump and get that? Just curious. diagonal bomb jump? Yeah, just curious. Why would I want to do that when this also worked the, oh, yes. the typical way you would do it? Just a thought. Maybe you can try it. Okay. You do that. Te technically, this is my game. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take it back to my own home. <laughs> I'll play my own Metroid Fusion experience. <laughs> All right, you just sure, watch me. Just make sure you delete my data, though. <laughs> UDJ, I'm stuck. Can I use your data? <laughs> All you do is use me. Hey, man, I'm getting, I'm getting my ass kicked in Metroid Fusion. What do I do? <laughs> well, look at the title. You fuse some Metroids. Oh. I avoid the X. <laughs> at all possible. I didn't read what happened in the opening, so what do I do? <laughs> this game stinks. <laughs> I skipped all the text for the AI because he bores me. It doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> what do I do? Can, like, convey something, game. <laughs> See, I think it, it anticipated that kind of shitty, uh, complaint. Which is why, um, everything has a big glowing target on it. Big glowing target. Yeah, all your, all your destinations, they say, Target! Oh, and it's like, okay. bleep, 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 right here, here, over here, this area! I'd have to say that Metroid Fusion is the most hand-holdy of all the Metroid games. It outlines where you need to go the entire time. It, it doesn't do enough to set itself apart from the rest. What are you thinking, game designers? I know where to go. I'm a gamer. I think I hate worse than inaccurate shit is inaccurate shit from people who get paid to do this kind of crap. <laughs> I couldn't get past the tutorial of Cuphead. It is that hard. It, it had to have been a bit. He said he was tired, but man, if I'm that tired, I'll just go to bed <laughs> if I can't clear the... Well, yeah, but... I mean, I've been frustrated at a game before, sometimes over simple things, but never in a place where you weren't listening to the game. 
It told you right there! Oh, whatever. Oh, well, that was a big circle back around. Yep. Just getting a few more items here and there. Yeah, another missile tank. So I realized that... Ze Metroid Zero Mission did not use any of these sprites. Because they're not infected with the X in Zero Mission. I know, but... It that means there was so much more work put into Zero Mission. Why is that? Well, they had to remake it from the ground up. I think there's a few, like, textures of the background that were reused for Zero Mission, but... Yeah, I think they did more than you think, because, uh... Believe it or not, this is one of the smallest sprites that Samus has in I, this game. Yeah, I noticed that. She's itty-bitty. Which I kind of like, because uh, in, in Super Metroid... Her height is two and a half blocks. Mm. Here, okay. it is a solid two. Alright. So, great! Sector four now! We didn't really solve everything mm. in Sector two, but now they're fucking up Sector four! Alright, let's well, go to Sector four! Get over to Sector four! The Aquatic Zone! Oh, good. Time to get the gravity suit. Or a subversion of expectations. The SAX. An enemy with my strongest abilities. But does it have reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on. The <laughs> SAX is me. Only heartless. <laughs> oh, it's just a killing machine. But does it have... it? Does it have a reason? You can just hear SAX blowing up Sector 4 going, WHAT IS MY PURPOSE?! <laughs> here for what am i fighting for oh wait sorry zero said that not x and then it just blasts open another door <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it just says it very uh quizzically like you blast open a door is like god what am i doing oh well <sighs> was that even necessary well maybe if i blow open one more oh hey it's samus what's up ice beam Oh no, they have purpose, all right. They have reason. They are do. They are fucking up this place. Just because? There's a very good reason. Two very good reasons, actually, why they're doing this. Hmm. And what I'll tell you right now is that they're doing this for survival's sake. Well, it's technically an animal. That's right. And there's a reason. There's a whole reason why they're doing this. It's, it's, it's for the survival of the Hive. So they've infected this thing called Ceres. It's some hyper-fast aquatic animal, and now that the X have infected them, well, that... That ain't good. I do like that the Council of the X Parasite get, came together and said, Hey, did you hear the Federation sending someone? Yeah, we got a copy. You think we should let her through, or...? Nah. No, they'll, sh they'll shoot you on sight. Such a harsh dictatorship over here in the yeah. X-Parasite They are county. working with absolute purpose. We gotta go through all these bureaucratic <laughs> channels and all that. It's just... It, the it's, Federation's it's saying, no, it's too dangerous, why? It's like, no, don't, don't do this, don't, don't do, do that. But, but, the X, but the X, because they're all one mind, basically, just go. <laughs> Need to take out the X-Parasite's brain. I like Sector uh, 4 here, the aquatic zone. It has a nice shade of blue over everything. Yeah. See, I thought we were going to be immediately underwater, but no. Nah. We, we still got to fight with water before we can get the gravity suit and conquer it. So we're not getting the gravity suit yet. It's time to take on an apprenticeship and take on the water. You're not going to beat me, water. So maybe she can jump in and it'll be like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. She is water. She'll be lady in the water. Ooh, that was good. Oh, shit. I can't compete with that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Got a leak. If you, if you try to, to compete with that, it'll be it'll be something. It'll be it'll be worthy of uh, mention. It'll be a happening. Oh, you devil. <laughs> I don't think he directed that. Jelly side down. Didn't he make it, though? He produced it. Produced it. Okay. You know, I can't hate him, Night Shyamalan. I, I, I really can't. I can't bring myself to hate him. I don't know, the last airbender kind of really fucking sucked. I can hate him for that. 
<laughs> and him for uh, After Earth too. That was pretty. That was pretty stinky. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty poopy bad. <laughs> Real stinky, icky bad. But, but that's all it is. It's just poopy bad. It didn't, like, you know, offend me. It didn't make me angry. Well, it's, it's just, wow, that's bad. Well, no, I mean... See, the... The, the stigmata that a film... Stigmata? It's not stigmata, damn it. Stigma. Stigma. Thank you. Thinking of Isaac there for a second. I'm watching signs all of a sudden. Oh, my hands! My hands! Ah! Yeah, that's bad. Don't get crucified. Don't get... Don't, <laughs> don't get crucified. <laughs> No, I just, I just hate it when people consider a movie so bad that it personally offended them. I mean, unless that was the... Uh, that's what the movie was set out to do, don't overreact. I've seen movies that have offended me deeply, and I hate them for it, and those are ones that I always spit on whenever I think about bad movies. But when I think of just a boring movie, they think, Oh, it's the worst movie ever! Like, but no, it's, it's just boring. You don't know what bad is. Come up with better describing words, please. Really? And I think everyone has this binary sort of pass-fail system when they watch movies. Like, is it good or is it bad? It's like, well, I don't know. There's a lot of different goods and bads. How, like, how about Shades of Grey, huh? There, there's... I had to go all the way around to get this, basically. Yeah. I mean, there, there's, there's, there's movies, and I'm like, well, that was pretty good. You know, I liked it until the last, you know. Then there was a movie that, you know, I hated this movie. It was, it was awful, but, you know, seeing this actor do it, you know, it was really worth seeing him. That was, that was all for it. I like, you know, the, the actress in there, you know, there's movies that, you know, oh, this, this is pretty good, except for, like, the ending. It, I was having a good time until the ending. I got a movie like that. So, good or bad, think harder than that, come on. Film directors had to, they had to think harder to make their movies. You can think a little harder on your criticisms, too. <laughs> some of these, some of these fucking criticisms for movies that are Rotten rot Tomatoes, they just don't make any sense. Like, like, this, this new Ghostbusters movie. It's a slave to nostalgia. Well, no shit! <laughs> no fucking shit! It's the fourth movie in a long-running franchise that's been going since the 80s! Of course it's a slave to nostalgia! How does that work? Is it working in the movie's favor? Or does it hold it back? Do people, is, is the nostalgia appreciated or is it just kind of an annoyance and it's just, it's just pandering to fans? Which, is that a bad thing too? Pandering to fans? Because who watches the movie? Fans do, of course! God, that, that must have hurt you. You just went places. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sick of people hating things unjustly that I like. <laughs> <laughs> unjustly is the key word. Now, uh, I've, I've been there, those those days in X-Play where every single shitty PS2 Xbox game, oh, four out of five! But anytime some mildly fun Nintendo game comes out, <laughs> uh, three out of five, two out of five, get with the Nintendo. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, are you critics? I could do your job for you better than you can! Get out of that chair, let me do it! My new favorite pastime is, uh, YouTube has been suggesting me a lot of, uh, game reviewers lately. <laughs> oh, and, no. uh, I saw a video that says, believe it or not, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl isn't crap. I was like, oh, wow. Go figure! Way it's... to immediately think it's shit. <laughs> uh, and I played it too, it wasn't crap! Have some faith. Wow! Please. It's like, it's like the best way to tell if a game or movie is crap or not is, 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 is to, to play it yourself. Well, I've noticed Nintendo fans have become the new Sonic fans, just immediately attacking something that looks, you know, any like anything. And See, then... I don't think it's just, you know, a type of fan, it's a type of person. Oh, yeah. By the oh, way... Yeah. The, oh, that's That would be Saris. And it's gone. And it's gone. I, I, I assume it wasn't gone when we got here, but now it is, and that doesn't seem good. The X work fast. They do indeed. They work faster than we can move. So I realized that there are, are quite a few enemies here that look like Sonic robots from Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Like you were fighting a bunch of crab meats in the other room. Well, they were taken from SR388. Sonic Robotnik 388. I don't know. If there's an evil scientist in here that works primarily in robots by the end of this story, I called it. Nah, everybody's kind of dead. Okay, well, if I see Eggman's skeleton, I'm going to be actually very sad. He was working on the BSL. <laughs> All right, uh, boss the, fight! The water boss! This is Saris, he's fast! He's very fast. Ah! He's very fast. He's basically just kind of... There's, there's a couple strategies here, you know, shoot him, but then when he, when he goes fast go up there, it will be difficult for him to yeah. hit you. Yeah, the 1% run I saw, ah! this was, like, near impossible. 
The Ceres moves so quickly, and as soon as you hit him, you basically have to dodge out of the way. Randomly, too. Yeah, his, you can't his, see him. His, his pattern is very erratic. Well, this seems to be like the god spot. God spot for not getting hit, but not the god spot for hitting him. No. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just jump up there. Just Chill right here. <laughs> kind of, kind of move around at them. I think we'll be safe for the most part because he's just, yeah, he's just doing that really. He does this big arcing thing. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You were like froze there. Oh, okay. Oh! He's, he's coming out. Deer in headlights. <laughs> All right, jump. Whoop, jump. There we go. Now, whatever you do, don't fall in the water. I think that should be obvious now. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it's that, oh, that's no very, longer safe. Very painful. He's got that, just that one sweeping move. That, oh, there we go. Oh, did it. Good. Yeah. Oh, that was another thing that that was just so scary when watching the one percent. Is yeah, you killed Saris. Cool. Oh yeah, there's also the X. Yeah, that's, that deals a lot of damage. That's, that's just phase two. <laughs> Yeesh. And speed booster. That's yeah! the speed booster. We get to go fast now. Already? Damn. Yep. It's the first game where they uh, changed up the speed booster. Now you don't have to hold a button to run. Now Shine Spark doesn't hurt you anymore. Oh. So you just move in one direction really fast. Yep. Just, uh, keep, just okay. keep running in one direction, but you have to clear the way, of course. Make sure the way is right, clear. Right, to, to oh. gain speed. Because if you get hit, you lose your speed, too. There you go. She still seems like she's moving slow, but maybe that's just my eyes. It just seems slow. It's more like the moderate walk booster. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode of Metroid Fusion. Cool. Next time, we're going to get out of here and, uh, well, see what else is getting messed up. I'm sure a lot. See you next time. Samus's pet corgi in Sector 3 is no longer with us, I'm sorry.